community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a quick look at the uh, stock market from yesterday. I posted this is, I haven't, you know, been trading the S&P since it opened on April the 6th of, um, April 16th, 1982. There was actually three people in the pit, and Leo Malamud came over to Byron, and he said, uh, look, we'll get some of your buddies to get over here. We're going to have to take a picture. And so I was being Byron's friend. I got over and we got a picture taken of the people trading in the pit. We were doing for trend trades because it was trading at 103, folks. The S&P that's trading now at 2,700. Is that what it is? No, it's, whoa, it's almost 4,000, 3,900, and it was trading for 100. That was 40, 41 years ago, believe it or not. Uh, Byron's been my best friend since those 41 years. And, uh, uh, he's been a true friend. We, we're almost like brothers. I want you to take a look at something on the chart that I posted here in the den, folks, today. This is the chart. On the left side is the E-mini S&P. On the right side is the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The time that those lows were made and highs were made were the same. But you'll notice here on the left side that the S&P 500 did not, I repeat, did not back off anywhere you can see we had one really good 200 point drop in the dow jones stopping to the tick at the exact 382 and then continuing higher wow that's that's really an incredible run and and, and it truly is very very bullish what i usually do when i see something like that i consider that an outlier event in other words something that you don't see very often it happens but you don't see it very often now the thing that i went back and looked at was how many times have we seen that before? And I'm going to post it in the S&P just to give you an idea of what we were. Uh-oh, uh what happened? Just a second here, Billy Ray. There we go. I think we're going to be all right now. Hold on one second here. Mike Moore of More Analytics will be our guest today. We've got crude oil jumping around quite a bit. So it's going to be interesting here. Now, this is the same thing. That's the same pattern that we're looking at, only a different time frame. So we've made some type of a move here. The market's backed off a little bit, you know, not really very much to make much difference, but uh, that's what's actually happened. But boys and girls, we've been in doing this for a long time, and now the time is when the pedal meets the metal, and the payday has to be very, very soon for one of our good friends, and we're going to put it up here, and I'm going to walk through this for you because this is what we try to do here at TFNN give you some trading ideas and if you'll notice here this is the chart of the uh, weekly chart of the natural gas making new lows we went substantially below uh, two dollars remember it was ten dollars so it was off 90 percent its value in a matter of almost exactly two years it topped in april uh, excuse me in august of uh, 2022 so here we are a year later and this is what we're looking at. But if we remember, this is the chart that we posted in here for a very, very long time because we had a really great buy signal in that at 287, and we were out of it at 277. We were in it about three hours, and it, it continued down from 287 all the way down to 194, I think, was the low seen on the natural gas last night and i think it expired either today uh or yesterday but uh, what we're watching now and i bring this to your attention because i like to get as many viewers as we can to listen in because when we have a trade like this this is the kind that you really really enjoy if you remember about two weeks ago we posted the one of the uh wheat when wheat was trading at uh 666 or 668 and uh it since since 
went high, a lot, way above seven dollars since that time. But this is the same type of trade that we are doing in the natural gas. is very, very similar. There's, let's just give you. It all starts with this, folks. Let me get this up here. This is the. Uh, hold on one second, and we'll get this chart up here. I know it's repetition, folks, but now is the time that it's happening, and this is when you learn your lesson, whether it's going to work or not. So I'm just going to remind you here. There's the ABCD of the natural gas. That's over the past uh, two or three weeks, okay? Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to look at that just a little further to see what it looks like when you add all of the things that we want to see happen to, to natural gas all at the same time. Now, let's get it up here. And there's another one. We're going to see all the patterns here. Now, this is going to be a little fuzzy. If you're a new listener, just bear with us here. This is not anything mysterious when you see these colors. But you can see we are heading down here to this level right here. And at that level, you can see the beautiful three drive to a bottom. There's drive one. There's drive two, drive three. So that comes in right around 204, 205, somewhere in that ballpark. So that's what we're looking at that point. And if you notice in the far left over here, this is where the last low was. So there could be a lot of stops in this area right here. Okay, that's if that's if there were a lot of people in the market, and the only people the the short interest is increasing, which means that the market, the power of the market, is still there. The problem is that if you get down here, you they don't have, you don't have to worry about the buy stops. There's only a few wackos that are trying to buy it on the way down here raise your hand wacko oh i put your hand down johnny i know you're there okay anyway that's what we're looking at so all i do is i'm going to buy it i'm going to put a stop of about uh 15 handles i'm going to risk 1500 dollars on this because just a 382 retracement on that would be almost 10 grand so it's it's going to be really interesting folks so uh, we're going to be watching this, holding your hand along the way. Now, we got some major reports today. we got a major hog report that uh, comes out very, very soon. And the uh, fact is, I think it comes out in about an hour, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, in about an hour, the hog report comes out. And uh, we'd like to buy hogs if they open lower. they got a really nice uh, pattern uh, in the April hogs. And so we're going to be paying really close attention to that one because it's got a lot of stuff going on. And I wanted to bring a couple other things up here to remind you and just get this to level right here. Hold on one second here. This is the chart of Apple. And you'll get up here to see where we were. Uh-oh. I don't think this is Apple, but it's up here. What is it? Yep, this is Apple on the uh, long-term weekly. And you can see uh, this is a perfect 135 pattern. We made a higher high today. And today's the day. It should start down if it's any good or the week, this is the week uh, that it should start down. So we had a higher high in the uh, Apple right in here this morning, about a half a buck higher. So as long as it doesn't get above this next level, uh, it's got a chance for it to, at least to pull back. So that's primarily, you know, what we're, what we're looking at here. So I hope that helps. Someone's asked if this could be a head and shoulders pattern. Yes, because you have a, uh, this is your left shoulder. Okay, no you can't because see the right shoulder is higher than the left shoulder, so that cannot be a head and shoulders pattern. But it is a one, three, five because it's perfect. There's one, three, and five. Three and five are both 78% retracements of the whole move. That's it. I mean, you don't have to risk more than $2 on a stock that's trading for 91. That's about the way it looks here in River City. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. We'll be right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a trip for you. We're going to go across the pond over to England, and we're going to look at the DAX index. And the DAX index, even though it's in the U.K., has very few U.K. stocks in it. It's basically international stocks that are trading on the foreign exchange, the Forex exchange, okay? So basically what we're looking at here, you can see that we've reached a 61% retracement today, but there's also a larger ABCD in the, the same structure. Now, when we started doing this stuff on pattern recognition, well, somebody before me, but I've been doing it for over 60 years, the one thing that we learned is when we listened to what uh, Albert Einstein said, and that is that mathematics precedes geometry. He was talking about Pythagoras and his Pythagorean theorem. But mathematics are the Fibonacci numbers, and the ABCDs are the geometry. So you got to go along with the actual numbers. So the numbers went right to the 618, and that's where you play your game. You go at that spot, and that's all you have to wait and see if, in fact, that is the way things are supposed to occur. And what we mean by that is once it gets beyond that 618, that's where the problem arises. And then you have a bigger problem. So if you shorted it, and you're sitting right there at that number you were waiting to see, guess what will happen? it'll probably turn and go in the opposite direction of what you thought it was going to do. That means it's a failed pattern. That's where the second geometric pattern is here. You can see that the second ABCD is here. When you have all of the ABCDs coming together, there's, there's really nothing. I mean, they, they can all fail, no question about it. But that's what we're looking at in natural gas right now. And uh, this is this is only the second buy signal that we've had in natural gas. We had one at that 1.618. At 287, it rallied about, I think, about 10 or 15 handles. And then it rolled over, and that was it. It went all the way down below two. And you can't get anybody inter interested in buying natural gas here. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it's just totally amazing how the things change. Because when it was way back here at the top, 
you know, last year when it was trading around 10 in the summer, and look where it is now, it's below two, and uh, I don't think they like it as much. And not only that, but there was bullish news all the way down about how much gas it took to have a, a, a soldier, you know, doing his work for the UK and stuff. So you got to be careful with what you hear, folks. Trade what you see, not what you think or what you what you have, you want to be able to see it yourself, and that's really what you want to do. Sell when you want to, not when you have to. We all know who said that. God love him. Okay, now we want to have, we have one other chart for you, and this is a quite interesting one, too. Okay, I just duplicated it, so we don't need to do that anymore. The question that someone asked me the other day uh, when we were here, uh, chatting here, was what was going to happen with crude oil. If you remember in the crude oil, we were waiting to crude oil to get to 74.54 a barrel. Now, it got to 74.44, and then it rolled over and dropped $3 a barrel. What it's doing now is it's coming back and retesting that number, or we've got a whole new sequence of numbers coming together, and I'm trying to find it. <laughs> Just be patient, Johnny. Just be patient. I thought I'd put it in here. If not... I will get it very, very soon. Because, folks, we're at a real critical level of the market. When you see the market do what it just did in this last few you know, hours of yesterday and today, that is indicative of something very, very dramatic. So when you see an outlier event like the one I posted where the Dow and the S&P were certainly different, all you have to do is to go back and see what happened after that same type of thing happened on a particular day. So I'm going to show you the last time something like this happened. This may or may not mean anything. That I don't know. All I know is if you see something, and uh-oh, please tell me we're going to be okay here. Yeah. If you see something that looks interesting from a different standpoint, that's what you're watching. Because as you're watching this, you, you see the, these moves are so harmonic here. You can just see the ABCDs here. But this move that you're watching right here, okay, that move is very similar in time and space and everything else to that move. You see that? If you put that over the overlaid on it, it'd be the same thing. So that basically is your, you know, your final point on this stuff. So that's why geometry is a little harder to teach, folks. So we're going to find out how it works in the next few hours, I would imagine, because we're still way above the opening price today, and the chances of it going lower look very, very remote because this this market has a tendency to be absolutely spectacular on the upside. And that is because of this chart right here, which shows the retracement in the NASDAQ. Come on, Chief, get over here. Uh-oh, I've got a trouble in River City, boys and girls. Let me see what I have to do here. I did something wrong. Let me get up here. There we go. I'm oh, sorry, I've got a little technical difficulty, so bear with me. All righty. Okay, now maybe this will help. By the way, uh, Shane Smolian said that his uh, probability rate of the hurricane, uh, Miami Hurricanes winning the NCAA uh, tournament are around 7 to 1. And so those are good odds, considering that they're a big underdog and they have a chance to win. And he says that because of the l alignment to the stars of where they are over, right over the University of Miami right right now. And so we'll find out that's going to be an interesting one. Fortunately, folks, I cannot post that chart, but uh, it's going to be uh, try to get it posted when we come up for the break, which will be uh, in a couple of minutes, and then we'll uh, move on to the next one here. So we'll, we'll see. Got a question here from someone in uh, Oklahoma. Oh, my. Wyman, Oklahoma. Oh, my goodness. And his answer is, uh, what is going to happen to the pig crop report today? Because he happens to be a cattle rancher. And the answer to that is, you know, we have a big ABCD down, uh, three drive pattern, everything into hogs. Let's get this up here. We'll get that hog chart up here so you can uh, see what it looks like. But uh, it's been it's been a tad oversold here in the hogs. And. Uh, oh, I hear. Wow. Forgot to hit the change window, Al. That's a problem. It's all taken care of now. This is where we are in the June hogs, uh, trading down about, uh, well, I think they're, 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 they were below 100. But remember, the difference, uh, the, the nearby hogs 
are trading for about 65 or 70 70 something and here we are the others the reason why is this is a futures market and they're anticipating what's going to happen and what we're trying to do is do the same thing we think there's going to be a good bottom in hogs and by the end of this show if hogs are down sharply we're going to be a buyer and if they're up sharply we'll put our stop at break even but that's pretty much it because we bought them yesterday and they're about the same price as they were a tiny bit higher but uh, we'll have to wait and see if that's what's uh, going to happen. Regarding the soybean market, there's a big report tomorrow. That'll come out during the close also. And this will be telling you how many soybeans the people that are out there in the fields, the old farmer boys from Terre Haute, Indiana, how much they're going to, how many hogs they're going to raise, which will be affected by what they're expecting on the corn crop uh, report that'll be on the next day. So we've got hogs first. Then right after we, that, we have the grain report. And before that, we're going to take a little break. You live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, we had such wild swings here uh, at the beginning of the week. This is only Thursday. Gosh, the week goes by so fast anymore, I can't even uh, can't even tell you. But well, this is going to be an exceptionally important week. And we've got a – did someone get through to the trading den? Are you joking me? They Maybe they did. Maybe they didn't. And it looks like we did. we got Michael on the line. What can we help you with, Michael? Larry, are you talking to me? Yes, sir. This is your time. Larry? Mike Moore. How are you? Good to see you. 
Good to see you, my friend. Welcome back Sorry, for your vacation. On Monday about the uh, miscommunication there. No, Would you guys like to start out with natural gas or crude or the S and P's? Let's, or? let's go with natural gas because we got a lot of interest in natural gas today. By the way, okay. folks, you uh, yeah, many of you many of your subs- Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, please. Right, just get here. I was just going to mention. Okay, can everybody a great see this? Job. Yes, we got it up and running. Where it looks like we're in good shape. Okay. So for those of you that have been watching the past interviews, you know I've been talking about this massive move down that we've, we've been looking for in the natural gas. We've been bearish since 844, but um, the trade below 513.60 to 499.30 projects this downward 227 minimum, $4 plus maximum. So we've seen $3.025 of that lower. Um, and now this doesn't show it here, but this is just the current contract. But this actually poked below these lows in a previous contract. And so I, th- I think that this may be the final phase from this move down before a bullish correction. <clears throat> so let me just drop down a couple notches here. This is a 60-minute chart. And you can see in here, I said, I would be aware of possible macro exhaustion levels at 202.20 and 179.60 to 171.10. And if one of those holds, the the bullish correction against the move down should exceed 990 ticks from the low. So that would be a pretty significant move, especially with the risk around these being fairly minimal, you know, maybe 30 or 40 ticks or something like that. And just on a very short-term basis, we were traveling down above this line. It got kind of chopped around a bit, but this this wasn't a decent penetration above it. This was a decent penetration. Let me just widen that a little bit. This was a decent penetration, pulled right back to it, and then we've been chopping down above it. So what happens when you have a really steep line like this is sometimes it'll travel down above it, touch it a few times, and then start drifting sideways, and then eventually return to higher trade. Otherwise, if we take it out, I would be looking for it to test those exhaustion areas that I just mentioned. Mm-hmm. Um, again, at 202.20 and the other one at 179.60 to 171.10. So we'll take a quick look. Any questions on that or do you want me to jump over to No, crew? it's really good. I just wanted to bring to your attention, you know, I, I'm in contact with the folks here at TFNN and the uh, feedback that we get. But, uh, Michael, you've done a great job here. Uh, over the well, it's been a month or so that we've been working with you, and your calls have been really good. They follow them closely, so you know, keep up the good work. And those of you that are out there listening, pay attention to Mike Moore of More Analytics. He's got a lot of experience, and he does a great job, and he can certainly help you because the stuff that you've given us in the oil, and then also in the, I think in the stock market, both of those have been uh, incredibly accurate. So I don't want to take any more time. So please uh, continue, Mike. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I hope it's a blessing to everybody. Okay, so we'll jump to crude. So the crude and products have been correcting or in a trend against this move down from the March 6th highs. And crude has just been trying to bounce up against this line right here. It held this exhaustion area here yesterday, rolled over a bit, and it's testing it again. If we can hold it again and roll over, we could see a bigger sell-off. But if we get get back up through here at 74.67, settle up above here, I think we're going to start traveling back up towards the 77.47 area. And that trend line comes in, came into 74.03 plus two ticks per hour starting at 8 o'clock this morning. A decent trade above there will project this upward. But if we break above there decently and back down through it decently, that should be a decent sell-off. Uh, bring in a decent sell-off as well. Now, I just want to jump over to the RBOB because the RBOB, or the unleaded gasoline, has really been leading this move up. And before I jump to the RBOB, I'm going to jump to the RBOB crack because the crack um, shows you that in here it was really leading the upside, basically, um, okay. for this charge up over the past couple of weeks. And up hey, until... Mike. Yeah, Mike, tell the folk tell the folks again what the crack spread is because uh, you have to remind me because I don't do spreads. But uh, 
Go, please go ahead and tell them what the crack spread is again, please. So the, the, it's called the crack spread because when the oil goes into the refinery, it goes through a, a, a process called a cracker. And the cracker breaks out either heating oil from it or unleaded gasoline. So any spread between the gasoline and the underlying crude would be called a crack. So you can either have a, a gas crack or you can have a heat crack. And the importance in okay. paying attention to what these cracks are doing and how the spreads are moving is it dictates to you which should be the most profitable product or, or whether you should be long crude or long one of the products on any given move or short on any given move. Wow. So for example, in here, just in the past couple of weeks, you know, that financial difference in there was about to the tune of almost six grand per contract, if you were right there, you know, along the correct one. And then yesterday, the, the gas crack broke, broke below a bearish formation I had in here that started bringing in selling, and then another one started bringing in further selling. Um, so that is switched around. But uh, th these cracks aren't particularly, are pretty thinly traded, exchange traded spreads but I analyze them for the importance of what it tells you about the outrights. So just going okay. over here to the unleaded gas. Uh, Mike, I, it, I, got a, I got a question myself. And, and yeah. you know, I'm, I, I, I look at the bar charts, you know, the products themselves, you know, I don't, I don't know what a feeder cattle looks like, but I've traded them once in a while. Anyway, if, in other words, if they get the, they get the crude oil in and then they crack it. Now, when they crack it, do they have a choice of taking out the oil or taking out the natural gas or the uh, heating oil or the gasoline? Is that what? Yeah, that it's what a that choice between the gasoline or the heating yeah. oil. You got to be doing gasoline. one. That, that's the crack right there. Yeah. Now, where does natural gas come in on that? Well, that's a separate entity because that's a it, natural gas is a byproduct of drilling for oil in the sense okay, that natural got it. gas Okay, is, got it. Okay, I remember it's now. Not, you bet. It's not actually derived from the oil itself. Okay, great. All right, this is so, good. Okay. Continue, um, please. Now, here's the R, Bob. The unleaded gas actually made a bullish trending structure here. It was not a corrective structure. So then the question is, we held exhaustion up here pretty, pretty much perfectly from 268.71 to 269.94 with this 269.94 high, and we started to roll over. Um, this may be a pullback before a bigger or a deeper correction against this move up. We'll have to see. Um, and then the heating oil. This was not a trending structure. This more look, looks more like a bullish correction. That's why there's all these overlaps and overlaps and overlaps. What this structure suggests this is probably going to resume trade to the downside. This was a trending structure. This is a corrective structure. That suggests we may see a move down. And the heating oil is the weak one out of the three. So that'll probably lead uh, this to the downside. Okay, great. Stay with us, Mike. We'll be right back. Yeah. Mike Moore, Moore. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. 
Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. We're back, folks, with Mike Moore with more analytics, and we'll have more, Mike, if you don't mind. This is great stuff. Sounds good. So back to the heating oil. This is just resting on this trend line right here. If we break below that, then this should start pushing this lower. Um, I'm not going to go over the Brent and the gas oil because they're very similar, but I will just bring you to a couple of other spreads here that are important. This is the RBOB to heat spread. What does that mean? This is a spread between the unleaded gasoline and the heat. And so I got bullish in here, was looking for 500 ticks minimum. We broke above, pulled right back to the line, and now we've been heading up. But this is a, another picture of why it's important to understand. Like this, this would have dictated to you when this came off the other day that you wanted to be short the heat and not the gas. And that financial difference just over a period of three days is to the tune of 5,500 per lot. And now this is broken above this formation, which is going to project, which projects us over, upward another 1,200 ticks per lot. And if you ever want to figure out what the financial difference is um, from a product to the crude, so you would take 1,200, 1,200 ticks in the products times 0.42, and that would give you the crude equivalent. So that would be the equivalent to a $5 crude move to the upside. Okay. Meaning if this market's going to come off, you're likely going to get make $5 more on the downside, five crude dollars more on the downside if you short the heat rather than the gasoline. And likewise, wow. if this turns and runs to the upside, you want to be long the gasoline and not the heat. Wow. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Well, it's a complex. And how many people do this type of trading? I know, I know the volume on this stuff is great, but, you know, here – uh, at TFNN, we look at the products. We look at crude, you know, uh, uh, gasoline, and uh, the uh, heating oil. But we we never look at the crack. That's my fault because it's my show. But I don't look at the crack spreads very much. I'm going to start relying on you on that because you've you've shown us that by doing the spread, you can get leverage like 10 or 15 to one with just about the same amount of risk. That's in, that's incredible. Exactly. Like this is the heat crack. I got bearish on the break below this line. We pulled right back up to it, pulled back up to it again. And you can see here in under 48 hours, that's a financial difference of almost six grand. So, wow. you know, most people are looking for a leading indicator, right? Well, yes. the RBOB and the heat lead the market directionally 85 to 90 percent of the time, not the crude, wow. because they are the products of the crude that all the demand is for. That trickles back to the crew. Wow. So um, wow, I'll just jump here. Did you want to take a look at the S&P next? Or yes, gold? sir. We're waiting for that one. Absolutely. Okay. Sorry. Give me one second here. Okay. S&P 500 index. 
We left the maintain gap higher yesterday. So just backing up, I, we did a higher time frame look at this um, a couple weeks ago when we were all on. But this is a higher time frame chart. This is a daily chart. You can see from the peak of the market, we had a classic bearish structure here and then a classic uh, bullish correction against that. And right now, we're, this the market's really trying to figure out what it's going to do here. Are we going to have a whole new bear structure coming out of this? Or are we going to have a whole new bull structure out of this? So, so what happens here in the next couple of weeks is very important. But on a, on a short-term basis, it had a couple of chances to break down. It, it couldn't, and it broke back above this formation right here that I had. And that projects this upward 114 minimum, 250 plus maximum. If we fail back down through that, that's going to be bearish. Fail back down through it decently. It's going to be bearish. And then if we break below this other formation, that'll even be more bearish. So, mm -hmm. so as it stands right now, it's bullish. But we are holding this exhaustion level right here at uh, 4081 or 4082. We just violated it slightly. So we'll have to see. But I would still remain bullish as long as it stays above this line. Wow. And yesterday also, we left a bullish gap higher. Right here, you can see that in the market. The low is 4032, or, or the, the higher the gap was 4032. And uh, the low of the gap was 40.09.50. So yeah, I'm bullish right now unless that line gets gets violated. But if this line does get violated decently on the downside, I mean today's decent penetration is 24, and that changes every day based off of volatility. But if we were to break below there decently, that would be an, a good opportunity to get short or definitely get out of your longs. And then that would set you up to already be short before we break below this formation down below. And that would have, um, you know, that would probably project us down into these areas, the 39, 10 area or, what, or whatnot, and maybe even more. Okay, we'll take a quick look at the gold. Oh, yeah, take your time on the gold because we have a lot of interest. There's probably, because of Tom O'Brien, you know, he, he basically is the, the premier gold bug king. He started buying yeah. gold back in uh, 2003 when it was trading at 280, I think, and uh, he's still long. <laughs> it looks pretty uh, good. Yeah. So tell us what you're looking at, please. Well, again, from a very higher time frame perspective, I think that this is – let me just put this into a weekly chart for a second. You know, we broke out of this major basin here, and we've had a couple waves up, and I think that this is in the midst of the final final wave up maybe to test these big exhaustion levels up in here. And this is a massive bullish formation built into it. Mm -hmm. So if we get up into here, though, that's where you really want to be moving your stops up and with your longs, your long-term longs, because if it fails back down through that bullish formation, then it could get ugly, and then you could see a, a, a significant bearish correction that would probably you know, exceed 46 grand per lot. Mm -hmm. But as it stands right now, bullish um let me go down a time frame here i was bullish because of the structure here right in here i said it was going to be bearish we left a minor bearish reversal above here and then we've been traveling up underneath it and um we're just in this uh consolidative you know wedge pattern mm -hmm. on a lower time frame i think this is the last leg up too so you have a lower time frame structure that says that this is likely in the last leg of that lower time frame structure and you have a very macro structure that also says that we're likely in the last stretch of that macro structure. So this is a time to really be paying attention to these, these major exhaustion levels up here to possibly take a significant short if one of them holds uh, you know, with a relatively small risk or at the very least get out of your macro longs. And if one of those holes and the whole thing starts to roll over, it could really be uh, really see a significant smackdown. Mm -hmm. um, oh, by the way, you said last time you wanted me to show up my that website info before we got off, uh, Larry. Yes. Ran out of time. So I just wanted to put that up there real quick for anybody that's interested. It's um, moreanalytics.com. They have auto trade programs on there. Uh, multiple auto trade programs that we're collecting information for to start 
um, fairly soon. Some will be spread trades that are trades just like the cracks that we just talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, some will be spreads between different markets uh, and whatnot. So, okay, you want to hey, that's good. Look at the the uh, Bitcoin, or do you want to look at? Uh, no, look, uh, what, stay with us, and we'll have you on for another two minutes. We have to take a three-minute break for pay a few bills, and then we'll have you on for another three minutes. Okay? Sounds good, sir. Yep. Mike Moore, Moore Analytics, folks. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, with Mike Moore of Moore Analytics, and uh, please continue, Mike. Okay, so just jumping into the Bitcoin uh, Bitcoin, we've been bearish since overall since uh, November 10th, 2021. Seen 54,440, 430 of that to the downside. And then that was all, all that's been put on hold. I would say right here, this is a new sentence that was added a number of days ago. On March 20th, we left a significant bullish reversal below that warns of higher trade for weeks. Solid trade below 27,155 will negate this and warn of renewed pressure for days, possibly weeks. We came 25, um, $25 shy of this the other day and then rallied. So that's, um, and you can see just clearly out of structure, right? I mean, we clearly broke out of this bearish trend right here. 
we've been drifting sideways, making a sort of base, and now we're popping up out of it. And if you remember on past uh, interviews, we, we, I told, I'd, I'd said that taking this out was significant. Then we took this out, which was significant. We held it first, took that out. And now we're traveling up to, towards these apexes right here of the, of the massive structure up here. We've been holding that exactly almost. But if we get above that and start taking these areas out here at the 32605, uh, 32455 to 32605 area, that opens up the upside even more. And um, let me just show you here. And this is that maintain gap higher we had the other day. I'm just mm -hmm. going to drop down a lower time frame for you. That being said, on a lower time frame, I warned that this structure right here may be complete, and this was the fo likely final leg of this structure upwards, and that this is probably starting into a bearish correction to exceed, should see 2,610 a coin at least from this high. Wow. So hey, the listen. question is, are we going to see that but not violate 27,155? That's it. Hey, thanks for joining us, my friend. Yeah. There, uh, Time's up, and we'll talk to you soon, okay? Thank you very much. It's been yeah. an honor. Mike Moore of More Analytics, folks. We'll be right back.